welcome back to my channel it's biscuit how's everybody doing hopefully everybody is having a good day wherever you are so today's video is going to be a vlog type of video i am going to be going to the nail supply store to kind of re-up on a few things that i need um i'm actually tidying up in here so i have clothes everywhere so i'm kind of getting rid of some old clothes if you see back there and i have my cardigan over here so don't worry about that um but yes yeah, so i'm gonna go to the nail supply store today to grab a few things um but i need to make a list that's most important because oh, needless to say y'all already know the deal if you do not have a list when you are going to the nail supply store you're gonna spend way too much and i'm guilty of that myself so um, with that being said, we're going to go make a list. I'm already in my nail room. I'm going to take a look at some things and figure out what I need. And I'm going to document and make a few notes um, of what I need. And then we will be leaving. I'm going to take a look in my drawer here. Um, I do know I need some more protein bond. Um, I know I need that. So where is my phone? I'm gonna put that on my list and I do want some more sanding bands. Um, let me go to notes. And let's go here. I need sanding. Sanding bands, protein, bond. Yeah, nails. Yep, it will correct it for me. Um, I might need some more glue. Nail glue. Okay, I got sanding bands. Um, that's poly gel. Oh, I do need to uh, order some alcohol wipes. Unless they have them in um, in the nail supply, but I typically order those from Amazon. Okay. Um, other than that, I have um, I have some nail files. I have plenty of buffers. I have extra um, I have extra bits here that are ready whenever I need them. Drawer. Oh, gloves. I do need another pack of gloves. So, yeah. um, as you guys see, I don't need any more nail tips. Um, here, I don't really need any more buffers. I got enough. That's my vacuum implements. Um, I do need to order my Dino Lab Maker. So these are my tips that I get from when I'm doing nails. If you guys, um, I typically em empty it out every three weeks or every month. Um, so actually, it is probably about time to go ahead and empty that because I did not empty it last month. So I had a few clients this week that I put some stuff in there. So, um, I have those. I don't think I need that. Okay, so let's go over to my other drawer. All right, so down here, I just have petty shoes. I can use some more of those. I don't need no more jelly packs. So, let's do that. Petty shoes. That, so that's my overfill there. I do want to get me two more manicure bowls. Manicure soak. Off. Bowls. Okay, let's see what else we got. Oh, the glitters. I don't need any more, but of course I'm gonna go buy some more. Nice and here, more acrylic here. 
Um, so these are just like random stuff I have in here because I have a collection of candles that I clearly um, am running out of space for my candles. So, and then maybe I'll get some stickers, some nail stickers. Um, uh, Y'all already know what I was just thinking. Hopefully. I don't need another one. I just want to see how much they are in comparison to Amazon. Uh, nail, polish, rack, and stickers. Stuff I don't have. Let's take a look. missing anything everything is pretty much organized the way that I like it these are my bling drawers oh maybe some more kawaii charms let's see if they have some of those there and then down here is my uh, overstock drawer that has like my acetones, young nail swipe, alcohols, um, my refills for my DMZ base. Um, I have one for the top, which is right here. Top coat. So, I don't really think I'm. Maybe I'll get some more nail liquid. Yep nail liquid that. Nail. liquid nail powder if they have it because I'm going to try a different uh, nail supply store and let's do some acetone just so we can make sure we're good and I think that's it so now that we've taken a look at our drawers, I'm gonna go over to my petty cart and take a look there. I recently just bought some new um, sugar scrubs, so I'm just gonna refill this. Um, in here, I don't really have much that I keep in this drawer. Um, so like I said, I'm down to two toe separators, and then I have one, two, and that's three here, and then I have that pack, so I definitely will need some more of that. All oh, these pedicure kits like i said i don't really need any more of the uh, jelly pack jelly pedicures because i have tons here i get them for really cheap at my original local nail supply store and down here i just keep all of my like overstock hand sanitizer i keep my pedicure stuff down here so i don't think i need anything from down there so now that we have our list, I'm gonna go to check my chair and then let's see what we need there. For those that don't know, my pedicure chair actually has a little cubby hole on the inside. So here is my petty bath salt. Um, so I'm down to that and I have this one that I just bought maybe a few months ago. Um, so I do keep my Lysol and some spray and I keep my towels back there. So it looks like I don't really need anything from in here. All right, so let's get in the car and let's head to the nail supply store. So just to recap everything that we will need from the nail supply store, I need sanding bands, I need protein bond from Young Nails, I need nail glue, I need some alcohol wipes, unless they have them on Amazon, which is where I normally order them from. Um, some petty shoes, I need toe separators. Um, I would like, again, I don't need the manicure soak off bowls i don't need them because i have those and not only that i have some regular bowls that i use for my soak off dishes as well so i really don't need those but i would like to have some new ones um huh, i don't need a nail polish rack even though i know y'all gonna say yes you do um i don't but i do so we'll just see what they have and we'll go from there uh some stickers nail stickers because somebody asked me for some letters and actually i didn't have any so i kind of felt like damn i don't got well, excuse me for cursing y'all but i'm like damn i don't got no letters 
I really don't have that. So I want to put that in my collection. And then um, nail liquid from Young Nails, my powder from Young Nails. So we'll get those. And then acetone and my petty disposable um, kits that I use when I'm doing my petties. So let's go ahead, let's get ourselves together. I'm gonna take off these Crocs and I'm gonna get some shoes on and we're gonna head on down to the nail spray store. Stay tuned. <laughs> So the first thing that I see when I walk through the door is this entire bling shelf, right? So I happen to take a look to see where the price was. And as you guys just saw that these boxes are $50. So I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. I was not too enthused about the price because you can find these kits on Amazon and not only that you can find them on um, AliExpress but one of these kits were really 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 giving me the flux so I was like I need to have it but of course I had a little bit of self-control because I was like $50 for a bling kit and I know I can get this cheaper elsewhere I just kind of felt like that was overpriced for sure but needless to say, the colors were very, very, very beautiful. That's the one in the corner, that iridescent one that was calling my name. But I just remained my composure. I came back to it at the end. It was like, okay, do I really need this? Do I really want this? I was like, no, I can find this elsewhere. So I turned my back and I happened to see the stickers. So, you know, that was on my list to get some stickers, especially the... Um, the letter stickers, they had like those fish scales, they had the Playboy bunnies, they had the Gucci, Louie, all that stuff. So I ended up getting um, five for $10. And, you know, comparing prices, I know this is not something we should be doing. However, every coin matters, okay? Can we get that in the comments? Every coin matters. So, um, technically, I could have got those letters off of Amazon because I did a little bit of price research and while I was in there and then also when I got in the car and then when I got home because I purchased some stuff off of Amazon that I couldn't find in this local um, nail supply store. Granted that this was a newer nail supply store, but I just felt like, okay, let me support because I love supporting new businesses that come, you know, into town or if they, you know, get new stuff in. I love supporting that. Small businesses, I love supporting too. So... I was like okay let me grab some stuff but really i could have gotten these on um amazon they had 24 packs for eight dollars uh, i think it was either eight dollars or nine dollars so i was like okay i get it but i mean i see the difference amazon i have to wait two days here i can get it right in my hand so you kind of got to weigh your options here about those type of types of things um, but then I also saw some D&D polish and you guys know I rave about my D&D. However, I was very upset that they had the top coat and the base coat for $10 a piece. You could get the duo set on Amazon for, I think it's $8.99. So wasn't too pleased with that. So I didn't grab that. So look at all this foil, you guys. I did end up getting two boxes of foil. And then one of the foils actually caught my eye, which you guys will see that in a, another clip. Um, I'm sorry, not another clip, another video because I am going to be doing a haul. So 
um, overall their nail supply store was fairly new um, they did have a bunch of palettes as you can also see the shelf was very empty some shelves were empty um, they did have empty containers and all of that so I ended up finding some good things hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video make sure you give your girl a thumbs up make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and you guys know that I will see you in my next videos and this was actually what the store was called American Nail and Beauty Supply see you guys later bye